Hi Leo, welcome to your weekly love readings. These are for the 27th to the 31st of January. Don't forget to like. Hangman coming out there. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. I do read them all. <clears throat> oh, I'm going into a coughing fit, sorry. Um, so yeah, please communicate with me there. Um, don't forget that these are general love readings too, so they're not going to resonate with everyone. Don't know what's happening with my shuffling right now. Um, not going to resonate with everyone. But if they're not resonating with you this week, that's okay. It's impossible for them to resonate with you every single week. So just hit the notification button if you haven't already, and then go and check out one of the other YouTube readers here on YouTube. Okay, that was weird. I just saw something outside my window. How odd. Okay. Hopefully, I'm not going to get murdered in the middle of this. <laughs> All right, Leo, let's go. I tried to do this reading before. It wouldn't work. That generally means that you guys have messy minds at the moment. There's too much going on for you to kind of get your mind straight. So don't know if that means anything to you guys. Let's go, though. Love messages for Leo, please. Eight of Wands. Oh, sorry. Eight of... What am I talking about? Eight of Swords. Knight of Wands. In reverse. Both in reverse, sorry. Mm, five of Pentacles in the upright. Mm. Nine of Swords in reverse. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Okay. Leo, this is why I don't think I could connect properly before. I feel like you guys are going through a really hard, hard, hard time at the moment. Okay. We're going to clarify in a minute, but... There's definitely some isolation. There's definitely been some in and out action with someone that's been unstable, maybe a player kind of person that's been a little bit unreliable. Um, it's left you in this state of mental anguish and then finally Ten of Swords devastation over here. So this is where you're currently at, I think. But let's try and get some clarification because there's this element of regret and I don't know whether it's regret for letting this person back in. Let's see. Eight of swords, please. Eight of swords in reverse. Clarify. There are weird noises happening in my house. I don't know what's going on. Eight of swords. Yeah, so I feel like there's some regret for not letting it just end and maybe letting it kind of drag on a little bit. Um, letting, you know, this person have another opportunity, not ending it properly. Um, what's the... What's a ten of swords, please? Yeah, you felt like you really gave them everything you had kind of thing. Um, you were very generous, very... Mm, balanced, grounded, wanted to give them everything you had, you wanted them to have. All the love you had, you wanted them to have. All the money you had, you wanted them to have. Like you wanted them to have everything that you had. But that's ultimately why it hurts so much. Because you feel like you gave over all of that. You gave them your pentacle, your most worldly possession. One more please. feel like they just wanted a new start 
So they may have actually um, said that they want a fresh new start away from this, I think. Um, and that's where the herd is coming in. What's the night? Nine of Pentacles. Actually, no, let's go with the Knight of Wands in reverse, please. Knight of Wands in reverse. Let's talk about this person. Heavy energy, very heavy energy, Leo. Oof. Okay, so this is absolutely the person that's broken your heart. Um, and it was their actions that were heartbreaking, this kind of unreliability, promises unkept, um, saying that they were going to come to events, not showing up, saying that they were going to come around, not showing up, saying they were going to call, not calling, that sort of behaviour. One more, please. Knight of Swans. Yeah, they were juggling you. And I think you knew that they were juggling you. Maybe you and others, not sure. Um, but I think that maybe you... There may have been others. I think that there was a lot of sleep in the science. You've cut them off. Finally, they've kind of come through and said, you know what, maybe I'm seeing someone else. I want to start something with someone else. Um... But yeah, there is this need. It could be even you saying, you know what, I need a fresh start away from you. Um, there may not be anyone else involved. There you go. <laughs> I can't even make that up. Full card. So I do actually think that's confirmation that it's you saying, I need a fresh start away from this. I know I've got to follow what's right for my soul, my spirit here. Full card got to walk away I've got to take the risk and walk away doesn't feel good but i've got to do it all right let's do thoughts and feelings please for leo thoughts and feelings for leo heavy burden that's what i was saying before your energy is super heavy i can feel it i feel like i'm wearing a big black coat There's an element of anger here too. Like you want to, you've got stuff you want to say. You've got stuff that you want to tell them. And like, I feel like you're torn between wanting to just go in there and tell them exactly what you think and communicate exactly what's on your mind and walking away and just carrying the sticks with you. There's this conflict going on. Their thoughts and feelings, please. Because part of you doesn't want to engage with them again, doesn't want to talk to them again, because you know they're going to twist it around. <laughs> so they actually are... They are of the belief that they can fix this whenever they want. You've got the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. They kind of, um, there's almost like this arrogance, like, oh, that's okay, I'll fix this when I'm ready. I can fix this whenever I want. I don't think they actually realise that there's no going, like, this is Ten of One, Ten of Swords business. And you've got two new start cards. This is like, I'm taking a fresh start and I'm leaving you forever. I will not, I'm packing my things here and I'm going. I am walking away. And I'm taking my dog with me. Most likely outcome, please, for Leo. Most likely outcome for Leo. Okay. So the conflict hasn't finished. I think part of that is your internal conflict, though, as well. Um, so there's probably... Oh. Yeah, all right. So I generally read this when it's in reverse as you're not being honest, entirely honest with yourself. You need to have an honest conversation with yourself, firstly. 
Um, and I feel like that's part of this, like I said, internal conflict. Once you have that honest conversation with yourself, that, that internal conflict will resolve. You'll sort that out. And I mean a really honest conversation. Not, you know, but you know what I'm talking about. You've got to be real with yourself because you know when you're lying. Like at the end of the day, everyone knows when you're lying to yourself. And it is what it is, right? Whatever the answer is, it is what it is. But you've got to be real about it. You've got to know what you're dealing with. So then you can resolve that inner conflict and then you make some decisions from there, okay? I don't think you'll be getting any apologies, that's for sure, anytime soon. I don't, I don't even know that they even know that you've walked away, to be honest. All right, you might be getting some support by uh, from another, um, well, not another, but a an earth sign um, who's trying to look out for you. Maybe getting some advice from them. One more, please. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to help you get to that level of independence happy independence um this is a confident card this is a good card to end on this is like most likely outcome this is your last card this is exactly where you want to be she's confident she's happy in her own skin she's happy to be on her own she doesn't need or want for anyone else she doesn't block anyone out but she just can do it all on her own she doesn't need someone else to complete her she's quite happy she's rich in knowledge rich in money rich in time she's just generally quite balanced and grounded and happy it's one of my favorite cards in the deck okay let's do some advising advice please for Leo. I'm not shuffling today, Leo. I don't know why it's not coming through clearly. Okay. Need to get out more. Need to spend time with friends. Accept offers. <coughs> Still have your reflection time, but it's got to be a balance of reflection time and going out and celebrating time. It's like work-life balance, but mind life balance if that makes sense you can't lock yourself away and become a hermit because that's not going to help anyone advice you want to turn around okay Come. i don't know why never see this as this card, but righto. I feel like for some of you, it could be worthwhile getting involved in some sort of charity work. Um, this is a particularly good way of moving through a breakup, and there is actually some behavioral science behind it. So, my real job is people, um, and there is a lot of material if you look up ways to get over breakups, ways that people deal with breakups. One of the best ways to kind of move through some of that pain is by doing things for others. Um, so, and I really feel like that is what's coming through in this card. So uh, I think that could be worth doing. It's also going to help you be around other people, meet new people, get new invites out to places. And you never know who you might meet out there, okay? But yeah, I absolutely feel like that's what that card is saying today. Um, I'll take one more because I'm not going to take a, a romance angel today. Yeah, okay. You are being cautioned here. So don't... Um, it's like don't be afraid to be on your own because sometimes when she's in reverse she's fear of being single there's nothing to fear like you you don't have anything to fear it's a caution card don't worry about being single because you're not actually going to be alone particularly if you're involving yourself in all these different inserting yourself in all these different things um, you will have time for being 
on your own and reflecting and being able to process but you'll also be kind of keeping yourself quite busy too and again your last card on most likely outcome is hair in the upright so you've got nothing to be fearing you are going to be in this space very soon confident enjoying life enjoying space on your own um and kind of like who was this person why did i spend so much time on them see you bye lock delete heal oh leo that was a very big reading don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know what's happening here let me know um you know how you're getting through all of this and I will see you back here for the weekend reads. Have a great week. Bye.